So I read a news article. Justin Trudeau is not going to take any action or hold the Iranians accountable for the deaths of 63 Canadians on the Ukrainian airline that was shot down in Iranian airspace by an Iranian missile. You know what this says, Justin Trudeau? Open invitation to Canada. Canada is a pushover. We will pay off terrorists like the one you paid off at $10.5 million of taxpayers' money. We do not respect our soldiers. We do not respect our military. We don't care. That's the message. That's the liberals' message. We don't give a shit. As long as we get paid, who the fuck cares? You have got to be the biggest useless pile of dog shit this side of the fucking nuthouse. Canada voted you in a second time. Why? I don't know. I'll never understand why. But they did. Giving you a second chance to prove your worth to Canadians. To Canada. To prove your loyalty to the, to to Canada, to Canadians. To be our voice, to be our leader in a world of chaos. To bring some stability and fortune to Canada. What have you done? The exact opposite. You have just basically sent out a message to the Iranians. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Shoot down as many Canadians as you want. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm going to go on vacation. This was a hard decision. Disappear for three fucking weeks on the Canadian tax law. You are useless. Absolutely and utterly useless. And you're creating jobs within your own cabinet to offload responsibilities onto other people. A deputy prime minister is not even an official recognized position within the Canadian government. What do you think? We are the Americans? We have a vice president. Even the president of the United States fully assumes the responsibilities and the responsibilities that comes with his role as a fucking leader. You do not. You offload. You pass the buck. You are by far the worst Canadian prime minister in written Canadian history, recorded Canadian history. I don't even think Neanderthals would fucking vote for you if they knew how to vote. Like you, I, I don't understand how this is okay with you. Oh, 63 civilians are dead. We are not going to take any action. We'll be diplomatic. We'll talk about this. But that's as far as it goes. What the fuck are you afraid of? Are you afraid of actually growing a pair of balls and shooting some testosterone into your veins and actually fitting the role of being a man? Buck up, sweetheart. The world's a rough place. Time for you to fucking grow a pair and start acting like a man. Otherwise, go back home and have your wife slap a fucking diaper on you. 